There's the book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. Giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, and Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that told me this truth that we well. Shout out to the elect scattered through the four corners of the earth. This is Kadash Paya. And as you can see here, I'm going sure, to play this uh, short clip, right, over there in Lebanese. Out of a public in the Western Asia, citizens were told to bring their money and they would be given back a new currency. And this is why, you know, these governments are. Uh, dealing with, you know, like the BRICS nations, you know, going about their own currency and uh, the whole social credit, you know, thing going on with China and then America, Babylon the Great with their banks, you know, giving out warnings and, um, you know, CEOs and whatnot fleeing overseas. Why? Because there's going to be a, a, a crash. There's going to be an e economic crash. You know, and America's too much, they, they, they too, they're too deep in debt, right? And so, this is why everything's been set up around, like, different stores and different um, franchise businesses that are investing in this digital currency, which is ultimately going to be a cashless society. Which will lead to what? The hour of temptation. Let's play this. Citizens were told to bring their money and they would be given back in new currency. When they returned, they were told the banks didn't have anything for them. And that's messed up, man, because that's the same thing, you know, and that's a deceiver. That's what a deceiver does. He's a devil. He lies. These elites, this is why the scriptures say, never trust thine enemy. All right? Because of shit like this. And this is what's going to rouse people up, you know, the uproars of the people. And this is what's going to cause more theft and ultimately is what order out of chaos. That's the agenda here, right? To have full control with a digital currency rather than paper notes. And this is why inflation leads to hyperinflation to a crash of the dollar. You got shrinkflation. You got rationing. You got just all the different types of, you know, unjust policies that's being passed on, as it tells you in uh, Isaiah chapter 10. Also, you got Slack here. Things like this over there in Brazil. Right? Brazilian digital rail passes public blockchain pilot test with flying colors. So they did the pilot test. You know, they said that they passed with flying colors. You know, passes the public blockchain, which is ultimately the, the uh, CBDC. A right? central bank digital currency and, you know, this is this is this is what John the Revelator seen, man. You know? The process. All the way to the hour of temptation. Right? Let's 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 um let's read on in Psalm 64, verse 4, that they may shoot and seek and matter of fact, verse 3, where it says that they wet their tongue. Like a sword, which is a weapon, and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even better words. And this is why people are starting to see and hear the contradictions with the president and the social media news outlets, right? People are starting to um, see the loopholes. You know, because it's a repetitive thing when when something constantly occurs back to back. Eventually, people are going to ask questions, right? You see a bunch of factories being lit on fire, a, front, a bunch of 
trains and it all happened simultaneously within the, within the same time. There's no such thing as coincidences, you see? But what? Scriptures say uh, they're going to come like well, with great wrath, the enemy. These elites, the banking family, they're going to come down with great wrath. Why? Because they know that they have but a short time to rule. That's what they mean. That's what I mean. They, they, have, they have but a short time. Well, a short time for them to accomplish what they want to accomplish. Which they, it won't. It won't. This whole new world order. The Lord's going to destroy this shit, man. Read Acts 5 and 38. All right? So it says, verse 4, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Sudden, suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They com pardon me, they commune of laying snares privately. They say, Who shall see them? Because what? This is a snare. It's a trap. You know? It's a trap to where they blame an unknown disease and say, Oh, it can spread on paper. Right? They know that that's going to lead to what? A digital currency. And not only that, they're trying to, you know, come in the name of convenience and how it's going to work for the people so people could be willing to, to take it with no resistance. But when people don't got food, when people don't got nowhere to stay, when they can't go to work, when they can't go to the doctors, lacking insurance, they got no more benefits, right? Government benefits that's going to be clipped, as it tells you in. Second Ezra is nine and, and nine and ten, right? When people are forced, uh, uh, their backs are forced to a corner. A lot of, that's 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 why it's referred to Revelation three and ten, the hour of temptation. People's gonna be tempted. People are being tempted now. See, but those that are in the know in the true name and the true doctrine, watching for these things, are gonna be laid back. Why? Because we already know what's gonna happen. We already know this is coming. You know? We know the Most High Ben said these things. Ben showed the, the prophets of ancient times these visions. But now we're able to break it down in the modern terms. Understand what they've seen. And seeing it manifest itself. Flying swords. What was John talking about when he saw all, all, all the prophets? Flying swords, missiles. What were they talking about when they said no man could buy or sell? Right? So you got to understand, you know, when you read these scriptures, you got to understand. When the uh, prophets seen the visions of these times, they described it to the best of their ability from the era they were in. You know, now we could break it down. Oh, flying sword. All right, that's that's a miss. Oh, woes and certain words. and Because what the Lord is putting his spirit back on the earth, so the prophets is going to come back as well. As well as these elites, the Romans, the centurions, those that pierce the Lord, they're gonna come back. They here now. See? So we in that we at the end, man. And this is why they had so many different pilot tests. Um to try this new digital currency out because we're at the end. And they know that they have but a short time. So seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. You know, because they're gradually doing this, but things are happening quicker. As a matter of fact, let me read this last verse, verse 6. They search out iniquity. They accomplish a, digilent, a diligent search. Both inward thoughts of every man of them and the heart is deep. So they studied these things. They've been had this planned out. You know what I mean? And now they feel like they can finally accomplish this new world order. One world currency, one world religion, even a one world army. But, you know, the, the, the counsel of the wicked will not stand. You know? So with that, I just wanted to bring that out. You know, Revelation 14 and 9 goes into the repercussions of those that do take the, the, the idol, right? The idol... Of Baal, if you understand what I'm talking about. The digital currency is the idol for the image of this system. You see, there's no repentance from that. 
There's no, yeah, you could take the CH, CHIP in your hand and then take it out and the Lord's going to forgive you. No, he's not. Who said? Where, where's that in the scriptures? You know, prove to me that the Lord said that. You can't. You know? That's why, and I'm going to say it for the third time, Revelation chapter 3 verse 10, it says, Hour of Temptation. All right, it shall come upon all the world. You know what? Let's close off with that. Let's close off with that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse number 10, right? And it reads, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which is the elect, right? We're suffering in this world to defend the gospel. To the end, you know, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The Lord is going to keep the elect from these set perils that's going to come during Jacob's trouble. Hour of temptation, you know. So the Lord is going to keep them, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this is a global thing, a snare, it's a trap. These are traps. You know, let me take everything that we gave them and then come up with a new currency. It keeps you in, in under their control. That's ultimately what it's about. They want to be omnipotent, omnipresent, like the Most High, to be and see everything all at once, you know. But the Lord is going to bring them down. And this is why we must seek Him. So with that, till next time, I'm going to say Shalom.